I am now 10 billion percent sure that the developers of UTD is a big JoJo fan. What is going on, Flame Squad? It's your girl, Namite, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the thickest player here in Ultimate Tower Defense. And as promised, guys, we have another new unit that popped on, not in the banner, sadly, but it is going to be from the black market. So that's another legendary unit here in UTD, and that will be Josuke. But anyway, guys, before we check out his power, Make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel and of course burn that thumbs up button right now. I'm not sure if he's gonna be OP but yeah it is really obvious that the developers of UTD is big JoJo fan but yeah let's just try him out and let's see what he does. Okay there you go guys we arrived here on the easiest map on the infinite mode and by the way guys I actually really love the copyrighted name of Josuke here because you know it's actually Joe Suck E. I was like <laughs> I was like, dang, that was a pretty hot name. But anyway, guys, who among you actually got Josuke from the black market just like me? Let me know in the comment section below. But for the meantime, I'm just going to max out our Aquaman farm here. Oh, and by the way, guys, for those who were asking why my uh, Divine White Beard only had like 0.1% chances on Banner last time, at least in my previous video, it was just because uh, the developer actually experimented, guys, to force those new units to be on the banner as early as possible but it turns out that it was actually kind of messed up i think i well i suppose it was kind of messed up and there was even an announcement that they might not even do it again or probably they will do it again but maybe not for now you know because they're busy for their new game but yeah that was the reason why so basically it was originally muzan on the banner and it was pushed and replaced by by our boy Whitebeard but it probably was the rarity chance is still on Godly so I'm pretty sure guys that I was not the only one who actually got lucky to summon in that banner but yeah I'm not sure if it's gonna happen again and yeah hopefully guys that you will be lucky to get him okay there you go guys maxed out Aquaman farm is now here I'm just gonna max out our Luffy here are not really maxed out just to upgrade him decently and by the way guys Josuke is only a legendary unit so we're not gonna go hard on this character because he's not really that special who knows maybe he's gonna be one of those OPOP OP legendary though so we will be needing 700 cash to summon Josuke and ooh, this is not looking good for the range but let's not judge him <laughs> alright so Josuke will give you a damage of 123 and his cooldown will be 3 seconds and uh, the range will be 9 so obviously guys the range is not that good and let me just check it seems that he's gonna be only a single target unit so he will be using his stun do uh what is the name of his stand though jojo fans come on <laughs> help me out on his second upgrade it's gonna cost us uh, 1000 cash let's uh, do it and he's now gonna be damaging 176 that was a very small jump though 176 uh, with 9 range didn't change and his cooldown will now be 3.5 wait Oh, the damage is 176, but actually, guys, look at that. He's burning. Well, not really burning, but he's actually punching the life out of this mob. But sadly, he's only going to be a single target unit. So he is kind of like Jotaro, but without the skill, like the clickable skill. Oh, okay. So most probably he's going to be like a, a boss killer. Let me just uh, try to check this one. Look at that, guys. That was like a total of almost almost 4k damage per hit that's not that bad considering that we only have upgraded him like once but i think that we're gonna be uh in trouble here our luffy would be able to defend for us you know what i'm just gonna add like another luffy here just to make sure and maybe uh some other uh froppy here there you go all right so anyway guys on his next upgrade it's gonna cost us uh, 1500 and let us now do it 
There you go, 316 per punch, all right? I'm saying per punch because his stun do is actually punching, look at that, punching those enemies and wow, he's now gonna be damaging almost 6,000 damage per hit. I mean, not, not per hit. Oh, come on, this is so confusing. Not per hit, guys, but in total. But anyway, guys, let's all try to upgrade him again. 2,500 cash in the bank. Oh, look at that. That was a good jump, though. 596 per punch and his cooldown is now 2.7 wow okay but again guys keep in mind that he is definitely not gonna be your main damage dealer but he's gonna be good against uh, these bosses like these tanky units so i guess i'm just gonna set him to strong yeah he's basically jotaro guys without the time stop or dio without the time stop yeah i, I already forgot <laughs> but you know what let me just try to place like an albino here maybe it can help him uh it's barely noticeable rip okay so on his last upgrade it's gonna cost us uh, four thousand cash and he will now be giving us 1121 per punch and look at that guys he almost soloed this boss like 55k hp yeah, he's not that bad. He's just not like the, the splash unit that you probably would use as a main um, wiper for these mobs. But still, you know. But yeah, on max upgrade, guys, his range will now be 10, which is still bad. And uh, his cooldown will now be 2.4. Uh, I think that that's, well, that's already good enough. Could have been true to be honest, but hey, it is what it is, guys. You know what? I'm just gonna try to make sure if uh, we can place like five of them. I'm expecting that we can place like five of uh, Josuke. Bruh. Wait, what? Only two? Nah, no, 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 no. This is not happening. <laughs> well, if you can only place like two Josuke and he's only gonna be like a single target unit, I'm pretty sure that there will be like a lot of other units that maybe you guys already have that works either better than him or almost the same effect that he can also give to you. Like, dude, it doesn't make any sense. Why only two though? Oh, uh, if we can place like five of him, I, I must say that he's actually one of those uh, decent legendaries, but you know, I'm not saying that he's a good, good legendary, but uh, I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like, I, I can't, I, I don't get it. Like, well, maybe if you got like a time stopper here, Dio or probably Jotaro, maybe he can be good against those uh, really, really tanky bosses, but that's not good though. Only two. Yeah, look at that, guys. You've already placed two of this tower. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh well, anyway guys, uh, there you go. That's the power of our Jotaro here. He's only a legendary again. To be honest guys, he's not something to die for. Like, you could just uh, probably spend your gold on some other uh, legendary unit, not to Josuke, cause yeah, he's he's not that good guys. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this uh, quick video guys. That is the power of the newest legendary, or at least one of the newest legendary that we got so far for the newest update here on UTD, Josuke. Well, his name actually says it all. Joe Suck E. <laughs> That's gonna pretty much it, guys. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use star code Snow whenever you're buying Robux. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. Stay hot. Peace out.